Hey everyone, Chell here with Cerakote. I've got a quick tech tip for you today, or maybe an intersection of information. Now, as you've probably noticed, we like to remind you to shake your bottles of Cerakote. We show it in some fashion in pretty much every application video. However, we also think that you should know exactly why that is. I think it's helpful to think of Cerakote as being made up of two different states of matter. There is the liquid solvent, and then you have the solids, which are the raw materials. Now, these two components will separate and settle over time as it sits. Now, I think you can see from this incredibly helpful graphic here, it is critical that solids that have settled to the bottom are thoroughly mixed with the liquid solvent. Otherwise, there will be an uneven ratio of the two components. Without proper agitation, you will get inconsistent results and they may vary from being too glossy, possibly even transparent, or you'll have a thicker coating that sprays poorly because it is rich in solids but thin on solvents. The bottom line is, Cerakote that is not shaken thoroughly will result in an unappealing finish that lacks performance. Now here are the recommended agitation times based upon the volume of your bottles of Cerakote. As you can see, using a mechanical method such as a pneumatic paint shaker, it does save you time and energy overall, but most importantly, it frees you up in other ways to prep for coating. Now we do want to mention that using magnetic stirring instruments can be problematic for some Cerakote colors, particularly the ones that have higher concentrations of metallic pigments. Those metallic particles will be drawn to the magnet and they may not be properly dispersed throughout the bottle of coating. I hope that helps clarify why you should be shaking your Cerakote. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.